Hey guys, so I'm gonna try and do a full day of eating since I don't have work today. Um, I just had my pre-workout before, this is what I had, it's empty now. Um, pre-workout before my gym, plus my teaspoon of creatine, which is right here, I'm gonna hydrate. Had that, and I had a banana, and I think that's all I had. I was gonna have yogurt, didn't have time. I measured out 50 grams of oatmeal and 10 grams of sugar, that's kind of how I like it. And then I'm cooking four servings of Kirkland egg whites, and which I measured out in grams. I think it's 184 grams of egg whites, and then one egg that I kind of beat up. And then you'll see, yeah. So three tables, 46 times four is 184, I guess. Um, yeah. So that will be breakfast for me, post-workout meal. And then I think I'm also gonna have, where'd it go, did I hide it? A yogurt, kinda hid it back in here. Um, my Greek yogurt that I, you've seen millions of times before. No fat, eight carbs, and 12 protein, so I'll have that too. And then we'll see what happens next. I think I have everything written in my, my fitness pal. I'll have to do like a little bit of adjusting, but um, yeah, for the most part, I know what I'm going to have to eat today, so I'll see you next uh, time I eat. Okay, so what I wanted to point out um, about this whole full day of eating thing is that I'm trying to be better about uh, measuring every single thing um, by grams or ounces or whatever, and I'm doing this because I'm going to start with Mark, and he needs to know exact amounts so that he can make adjustments as necessary, um, and plus it's a good thing to do anyways when you're cutting to do more exact amounts. Also, I haven't been pointing out my water intake, and so most of the time I do drink water. Every once in a while I'll have a soda. I'm going to start kind of cutting those out, cutting sweets out and things like that, um, just because I want to and it's better for you. And then we're on our way to the dog park, and I cut up an apple. Actually, I cut this up yesterday. I was supposed to eat it yesterday. And so I'm going to hopefully eat that, and I already have it logged, but if my son wants some of it, then I have to, like, you know, make adjustments on my fitness pal. But anyways, on our way to the dog park and I'll see you next time I eat. Okay guys, so I'm gonna finish my apple. By the way, I never had my yogurt, so probably gonna have that when we get back from the park. But these are delicious. I don't know if you've been following me or if you have been following me, then you know that I like these Fiber One Bar uh, brownies. I normally... Yeah, you can have a brownie too. My son loves them too. Hang on. Um, so, I my favorite is the chocolate chip cookie. There you go, Bubba. But, um, and then I used to get the brownie that's pretty good um, because Costco carried it in bulk. But I found these and they're so cool. I don't cool. want it. You don't want it now? No. Okay. But then I'll eat it. So, I'm going to have this. And finish my apple we're gonna go to the park and come back and then I'll probably have lunch so I will see you then okay guys I'm gonna be real honest with you I put my son to sleep and then I didn't finish my yogurt but I'm gonna finish it now and then uh, I had spaghetti last night I made spaghetti so I'm gonna have that I logged it um, I logged the noodles and the meat and the sauce all separately but it's like really hard to figure it out because the noodles are the portion sizes are dry instead of wet and stuff. This is why I don't eat or I don't want to eat stuff like this when I'm on my cut because it's just really hard to measure and then you don't get the, like a right, very accurate amount. So I'll show you what it is. That's a big plate of pasta. Oh, anyways, I'm gonna eat that. Um, I, I think I logged like a couple ounces of ground beef and like a half a cup of sauce, which probably isn't even that. Maybe I logged less and then two ounces of dry noodle. And my husband had that last night and had it in a separate pot and he's counting his macros and cutting and uh, he's lost a lot of weight actually since he's been doing that. So maybe when he's done, we'll have a before after picture. Flexible dieting, hashtag IIFYM. Um, and anyways, so I got an idea of what it looked like, but this is not what I will do on my cut. So anyways, just kind of leading up to it, getting rid of, I ate the last of my ice cream except for a little bit of vanilla. Um, 
Let's see what else. Actually, there's a little bit of cookies and cream in there. Maybe I'll have that today. And then, yeah, I'm just like eating up all the stuff that I'm not gonna have on my cut. And then I'm not gonna buy any more sweets or things like this, or I'll just like feed it to my kids, but um, I'll be sticking with like the rice and chicken. And I think, like, I think, I haven't talked to Mark about it yet, but um, I don't think he really cares. I think he does kind of a flexible dieting approach too, or allows it, so I don't know. But for my own like goals and just health goals and stuff, I wanna stick to more cleaner type foods. It's not wheat pasta, I don't use brown rice, but um, you know, you kind of have to pick your poisons or whatever and then decide what you want to do for your healthy parts. So I'm gonna have a big salad later and stuff with my nuts for my healthy fat. And I haven't really had sweets today. I mean, if you count yogurt, I guess I had those chips, but I kind of regret doing that. Um, what else did I have? And I had a fiber one brownie, which I really could eat like five more. But um, I feel like that's not a total cheat or total sweet because um, of the fiber, five grams of fiber, and it's necessary and it's hard to get it in fiber. But um, anyways, I'm gonna eat my spaghetti and finish my yogurt. Hey guys, so I am about to eat a banana. I have been on the computer um, writing up a summary of my bulk for Mark, even though he didn't ask for it. I'm just really thorough. And then I'm gonna let him know what I'm doing leading up to um, the time I'm gonna start with him because if you don't let your coach know what you've been doing, I feel like he's gonna have a harder time figuring out what to do with you. You know what I mean? Like, you could still do it, but if I was a coach, I would have somebody give me at least like two weeks of information of like macros, calories, workouts, everything, so that I can say, okay, you've been doing that and your your weight has been changing but like this, and so now this is how we're gonna change it so we can reach our goals. So that's just me. Um, so just got that email ready, and then I'm also going to log more specifically um, things so that we have really good communication. So I'm getting excited about that even though it's not for two and a half weeks or two weeks from Saturday. Yeah, that I want to start with them. So I'm going to have this banana. I'm kind of a little tiny bit hungry, but I still have like two relatively big meals to eat later. So I don't want to be hungry at night and I feel like that's when I do most of my binging like with sweets and I crave the sugary stuff so I'm gonna try not to eat so much during the day and eat most of my food at night get ready for that cut and I'll see you next time I eat something okay so I'm not eating quite yet it's four o'clock and I decided to kind of get ready for dinner have an early dinner and then have a second dinner after dinner um, but what I decided to do tonight is have some rice, which is already cooked, salmon, which is right here. It's defrosting. They're individually packaged when you buy them from Costco. And then we're going to steam some broccoli. And then I said rice already, which is already cooked. I cooked like so much rice. Um, I already kind of gone through this. I have it right there. I grilled some chicken the other day, which I need to eat. My husband prefers steak, so he's been eating a lot of that. Here's another thing of rice, and then, oh, that's the spaghetti, never mind. Um, but I guess we can kind of go through my fridge. Juice for the kids, Diet Coke, um, eggs and egg whites, garlic back there, hopefully I'll go through it. Almond milk, when we want milk, but we're not really milk drinkers. Um, this is kind of snacks for the kids. Cream cheese in there, but I don't have bagels to do. Cheddar cheese, um, yogurt for the kids. For the kids. There's also applesauce, kind of running out of that. My yogurt, as you saw earlier, which I'll eat another one today. Um, I like to bring these to work. I'll have one of those tomorrow. Tomatoes, cucumbers, iceberg lettuce, and then baby spinach and kale. So that's also going to be a part of our salad tonight. And a little bit of bell pepper. Apples and my yogurt's down there. Um, this is the dressing I like to have with my, it's kind of beat up, four grams of fat in a serving, two tablespoons. That's a lot of dressing too. Oops, sorry. 
no protein, uh, two grams of carbs. Newman's own light balsamic. I really, really like it. Highly recommend. Um, nothing really in here. Oh, the salmon. I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna put some teriyaki sauce on it, which is gonna have a lot of um. <laughs> it's gonna have a lot of sodium. 460 milligrams of sodium per tablespoon. That's crazy. No fat though, so that's cool. 10 grams of carbs, eight sugar. Yep, one gram of protein. Bad. Um. Oh, and then I was gonna show you the bag of salmon. So here's salmon, kitty egos, um, chicken, and then I'll be eating this mahi eventually. It doesn't have all that stuff on it actually, it's just plain. You season it yourself. So I'm a kind of a minimalist when it comes to having food in the house. I like to go through it and not throw a lot away. So I have the basics, use up the basics, go shopping again. Um, and then in here it's just kind of snacky items. Nothing really, just some canned stuff if I want to make some beans, some oats, um, sprinkles, <laughs> cereal, there's some rice, I have extra rice besides that, oil, there's oils and vinegars and stuff back there, crackers and stuff for the kids, um, but my kids don't really snack a ton. And then my husband really likes this, he says it's cheaper and actually the macros are a little better for cutting than um, the Quest bars. And then he likes the pop chips too that we tried earlier. And then we have another bag of those. And my son, and I actually like these a lot too, the pretzel crisps. Yeah. I'll probably just marinate the, marinade, marinate the salmon. And yeah. And then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. -da -da -da, like an hour and a half. And yeah, I'm definitely going to have a yogurt before then. So write that down. Just kidding. Um, yeah. See you then. Oops. Um, I used to have a steamer, but I traded my mom's rice cooker for mine, and that's what it was in, because she has a bigger rice cooker. So this is what I do. Put some water on there and steam it that way. And it's off the burner now, since it's as steamed as I want it to be. So I'm just keeping it warm with the lid. Don't mind, Bubba, don't mind. And then there's our salmon with the sauce on top of it. And I measured out how much sauce I used and I'm probably just gonna like divide it up by four and it's not even that much because as you can see, a lot of it is just on the side. I think it's still got some cooking to do. Okay, we know you're cranky. Not all of YouTube needs to know too. Um, so that's it. And then when the husband gets here, we will have ta-da. And then, yeah, I have it already in my fitness pal how much um, of everything I'm gonna eat. And, then I have to eat some chicken and rice later too um, to complete my macros for the day. I haven't had a treat today, but I'm gonna try and keep it that way. I don't know. Um, so yeah. Okay guys, so I cannot be held responsible for what I'm looking like right now. Um, took a shower and stuff. And my hair is crazy. I need to figure this out. I have no idea what length it's gonna be for the show. And yeah, we'll just make the best of it. So anyways, another thing is that I'm hungry and I'm still, this is just under 2,700 calories and I'm hungry. It's not a good sign. So we'll see if I can lower it very much. I don't wanna be hungry already without even having talked to Mark really about where my macros are going to be and how fast I'm going to cut and all that stuff so or how slow um but anyways I just measured out another 100 grams of rice and then I zeroed it out and then this is two ounces of chicken that I prepared so I've got all this ready to go which is nice um so food prep is awesome especially because like right now I'm hungry and had I not had this I'd probably try and grab something real quick which you don't always want to do so anyways, I'm going to eat this, and then I also have a brownie that I put in. I didn't originally have it, but it sounds really good right now. So I'm going to have another one of these, and that kind of ends my day. If I'm hungry, I guess I'll just have a soda, because I really need to get like my stomach used to eating lower calories, and this isn't really that much lower, so 
I'm really kind of nervous about this cut, but mind over matter and you just have to make it work and do things that, you know, just make it work. So anyways, I will see you next time I have a video. Thanks for watching.